What's the weirdest thing you've been asked about being Muslim? Do I worship a moon god? Are you allowed to have sex during Ramadan? I bet you like to hump goats. Like, like I, like, 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 I don't even know what to say to that. What's a mosque? What do you guys really do in there? The weirdest question is if I'm planning to blow anything up. Why are you guys like that? Why don't Muslims denounce terrorism? Aren't you hot? Are you circumcised? I do denounce terrorism. Really? You guys can laugh? You guys can smile? Oh. I think. Welcome back to the zoo. We have Omar Regan. He's a comic. He's an actor. He's, can I call you an activist as well? Yeah, why not? Right, we're all activists. Hey, <laughs> We'll talk about that now. Dennis, Let's take Let's get activated with our greeting oh. here. Are you serious? Uh, yes, of course. Let's do this. We're going to count to three. You know the deal, right? I do. One, two, three. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, Omar, right. nice. I think you are a very important comedian today. Uh-oh. I'll tell you why. Especially you know, here, here with Latinos, we're always saying, wow, well, you know, we don't see our voices and our stories in the lexicon of American culture as much as it should be. Mm. Um, I think that this year with the Oscars, I think the African-American community is finally starting to get the notice that they, that they deserve. Latinos were saying we want more. Right. But one community that's a, you know, a growing community in this country, and it's a, a growingly uh, targeted community by our uh, current president, uh, <laughs> is... The Muslim community, and a lot of people don't realize that Muslims actually come in, in various races. We tend to think that they're all Arabs, but the truth is there's a lot of African-American Muslims. Yeah. So yeah. talk to us about countries. why it's important for yes. you to kind of put out a message of, hey, this is who we are, right. and you know, we can all get to know each other. I mean, I, I, the weirdest thing is that people actually do believe that all Muslims are like Arabs, and, right. but I mean, history will tell you that Muslims, they come in all shapes, colors, totally. you know, yeah. So I, it's, I'm grateful to just, happy to be myself. And so I'm being me, I'm funny, um, yeah, and hey, I'm like uniting with people. I've been traveling all around the world, and I've been like, wow, people don't know Muslims actually laugh. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, they laugh. So I'm like, hey. I just catered to, I started Halaliwood and was like, look, I need to let Halaliwood. everybody know that Muslims do laugh. Yeah. What yeah. is Halaliwood? Halali was a movie production company. So oh, okay. I made my first film. I'm making my next film. It's um, and it's actually I am attacking religion right. in this oh. next film. So yeah. I got a, a, a imam, a rabbi, and a priest, and they're neighbors. <laughs> right. You know, but they don't they don't get along with each other until <laughs> until a devil worshiper moves on the block and now they're forced to come together. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. So it's called I faithful mean, neighbor. That might be all we need. That might be all we need. Yeah. 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 Can I ask you? Do you practice? Are you a practicing Muslim? I mean, yeah, I just live because right. I think people have this notion that, oh, religious, religious, got to uh -huh. be religious. Like, you just live your life. Right. Like, how you live is how you live. Like, people right. say, oh, now I'm a vegan or right. I'm a Muslim or I'm a Christian. But it, when we walking down the street, you know, we're like, hey, how you doing? Like, I'm sitting next to Vivian. How you doing? Is it so important what you right. do in your life or how you, you know, connect with your creator? Is that, do, is that the first thing we know? Or do we be like, hey, man, how you doing? <laughs> Have you ever knowingly met a Muslim? Because, you know, she comes from Mexico City. I don't know if there's a Muslim community. Yeah. Listen, he has, you have a video that says the most awkward questions that people ask to Muslims. This is like a very awkward question to it ask is. a Mexican. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I have met Muslim people. people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have. Of course I have. I have one Most right mothers. here. <laughs> ¿Qué? 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 <laughs> ¿Qué dijo? Suavemente. <laughs> hey, nice. Oh, there you go. That was crazy. Hey, you can pass for Cuban, my friend. You can, you can be my Cuban cousin. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say that about my guy over here. I'm like, he reminds me of that 2017 Thorny Montana. Oh, thank okay. you, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I really love yeah. I, I share with I'm trying emotional. something okay. here. I don't know. I We're share with the emotional. It so, but Omar, how did you come up with the idea of educating people about Islam with uh, through comedy? Because mm. a lot of people, oh, I mean, and me, myself included, amazing. sometimes we don't know much about it. Yeah. We just know what we've been told by the media, which is right now satanized somehow. I like know. it's like it's like woo, does he have a bomb? I know. Exactly. <laughs> but how did you come up with this idea and then putting all this group of people of Muslim people together to make these videos that well, are? It honestly was one of those things where. You'd be watching TV and you'd be like, really? That's not. Like, I, I have brothers and sisters, there's 13 of us, and I'm like, that's not who we are at all. Yeah. Like, they should see what we do wow. at home. Right. So instead of doing it at home, then just do it out in the open. Right. And then I was traveling around, but one of the, to be 100% honest, right. Alberto, one of the reasons too is because I was hanging around some Muslims mm -hmm. and they weren't smiling. 
Yeah. Even what? I was concerned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was like, what is wrong? Why are y'all not y'all not happy? And I studied Prophet Muhammad myself, and so I was like, wow, he was known not to pass anybody without a smile, and you mm -hmm. know, he was known to laugh. And I was like, why do they always make re religious leaders or prophets or messengers mm -hmm. like you know without a sense of yeah. humor? Yeah, they so make, serious. Like they, yeah, and I was <laughs> I'm reading, you know, they had pranks back in those right. days, but okay. nobody talks about it. And so I was like, hey. Yeah. And then I got, I, I'm going to talk about it, but then I already got two stripes because I'm oh. black and I'm Muslim. So, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, 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 here's your third. You're Latino, too. <laughs> and Latino! Oh. And Latino now! <laughs> Wait, speaking of pranks, you, are you friends with Adam Saleh, the YouTuber, the I prankster? Do. Yes, Adam Saleh. I am friends with Adam Saleh. So what is the deal with him? Like, because he, there was this whole controversy oh, about it. him on the plane yes. and him being kicked off, and then they're saying that it was all a prank, that it was all fake. Do you, like, what is the deal with it? Is it fake? Is it real? I don't know. Okay. But I'm going to be honest with you, right? Okay. If it was a setup by him, uh -huh. then people fell for it because right. they were still saying, get off the plane. So if he was doing that, if they were saying that, right? Uh -huh. And then they said, oh, get him off the plane. And yeah. then he was only saying, like, oh my God, there's no power, there's no strength, but for God, we must pray. We, this plane, get uh -huh. there and get there back. They were like, oh yes. But then they were like, get him off the plane. We're afraid. Oh my God. Then he was like, no, no, no. You know, if, and, if it is fake, yeah. uh, are you upset at him, or do you think it's a good thing because it brings light to uh, issues that Muslim people go through in, you know, in I don't airplanes think it's or whatnot? A good thing. I don't think it's a good thing because it's like, you know, this is a serious issue that we're tackling between mm -hmm. Muslims, the black, and the brown. Right. Especially mm -hmm. right now with our president. And for all of our good white people out there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we see you, but. <laughs> we see you, but we, we have some issues. So we are back with comedian Omar Regan. We're talking about. Um, the Muslim world through comedy, how he's educating people about it. And, well, I saw the video, but a lot of people maybe haven't seen it. What are the most awkward questions people have asked you as a Muslim person? Um, one of the things they do ask, because you guys were talking about it a little bit earlier, so I feel the need to bring this up again, sex. Oh. So a lot of people was like, oh my God, do Muslims, are you know, virgin? are they like, <laughs> do they, they, what do they, oh my, I said, don't you, yeah, Muslims, but, yeah, didn't you see all these kids running around here? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you have 12 other Muslims. How did they get here? I know, I was, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, they was like, oh, yeah, I'm like, it's not, you know, this is a natural thing. Uh -huh. However, we have halal sex, you know. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. I'm, what the hell is that? Uh, like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> No, it basically it's just to make sure that you're not just doing it as recreational because oh. it is a Sacred exchange. Thing. It is oh. an exchange of bodies of souls, if you will. Oh. So you want to make sure that you're not taking advantage of the woman. Woman is not taking advantage of the man. So you go through. Uh, you know, I mean, we have a nice understanding here. Okay, in the name of God, I plan to do you right now. Okay, I plan to do you right too. Okay, good. Wow. Let's do this. I, Let's do you this. Think I think everybody should do that. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. That's we beautiful. were talking about how we lack of those things yes. right now. Well, so. Like, one of the things, yes, you know, respect. I've been going through a lot of, like, I, I grew up Catholic, but I was one of those kids that rebelled against, you know, a lot of the things I was reading in the Bible. But I didn't feel like a lot of things uh, should be at this stage in history taken so literally. Right. Right. But now I'm coming back to the message, not just the message of Christianity, but I'm learning about Sufi, Islam. I'm learning uh, about yeah. Hinduism, Buddhism, and all that stuff, and, and I'm trying to find that unifying message. One of the cool things I see in your videos is that you guys are showing a very... Um, new kind of American Muslim for the most part. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times people in this country are just exposed to that militant, old school, um, mostly politically inspired mm -hmm. brand of Muslim from the Middle East, which probably has more to do with politics than even the religion. And, and, and that's what I'm seeing in these videos that you're doing. You're showing, no, we're very human, we're very casual, very conversational. You know, the only problem, Umberto, is that it's really not new. Right. It's just that nobody knew. Right. Uh, oh, man, that's kind of new. Like, <laughs> it is new. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I mean, we've just been like this our whole time, our whole life. But, you know, now we're getting a spotlight. Right. So, I mean, thanks for all of the Islamophobes, or if you <laughs> will, because now they're like, what do you really do? And now they're, you know, zoning in. We get a chance to get some, well, some shine time. And it must be rewarding, too, to use your comedy while educating people and then see the results. Say, oh, now they get it. You yeah. know, that's a great, that's probably a great feeling for you. No, it is. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm extremely humbled, like, to be doing what I'm doing because I, I mean, I come from Detroit, Michigan, mm. and, and nice. I came out here as an actor and, you know, trying to do my thing. And it's funny, I went to Saudi Arabia and then they had a, 
they put my, uh, did an interview because I did the double for Chris Tucker, and they was like, what would Chris oh, Tucker say? God. And so I was like, man, there's a lot of people, and they pushing me. <laughs> there's a lot of people, man. Ain't nobody got no clothes on. But, <laughs> you so, do better Chris Tucker than Chris Tucker. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but then they put, they, they, oh, the sorry. rumor came out because I was in Saudi Arabia that oh, no. Chris Tucker had became a Muslim and changed his name to Omar Reed. Wait a minute. I think I remember the movie that was or something. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, did you convert? I mean, growing up Detroit, there's obviously a very large uh, a Muslim community and Middle Eastern community. Did you convert to Islam, or were you born and raised? Yeah, I was five years old. You know what I mean? I had to make a serious decision in my life at that time. You know what I mean? I needed to know where my life was going at five years old. <laughs> yeah. So going back to those questions, do you guys? I mean, this is my stupid question to um, Muslim there's person. No such thing I'm as sorry. Do you guys stop in the middle of the day? I, I don't know what time it is, sunset or something, to mm. pray and go like this, or no? Yeah, we do, but maybe not like a swimming pose. <laughs> well, like, like, no. like, no, let me tell like you, child's pose. No, listen, this is prayer, right? We do pray five times a day. Okay. But it's not like a, oh my God, no. It balances you out. The prayer is designed to make sure that you always connect with your creator and that you don't work too much, you don't chase money too much, you don't, oh. you know, you don't just get engulfed in life too much without remembering the source of your existence. Wow. So that's what, it's just a balance of life. But it's not like you stop whatever you're doing in the middle of it, like just say like, right now, oh, time to pray, wait. Yeah, guys. no, that's, that's, that's not, like, that's not, that's robotic. That's like, I, ding, oh my God, Allah, I Allah. worked with a Muslim guy one time when I was living in New York City that he would have to like take a break from work and go pray and come back. Well, no, that's natural. That's and it was natural. like a certain time every day. It is, prayer is in a prescribed time in a prescribed manner, so it's like sunset, like dawn, but these are times when you find that you're connecting with the earth, with the universe. I kind of so. like Islam now. I mean, yeah. oh, I, I'm yeah. loving this when I'm hearing it. Wait a oh, minute, we got a convert. We got a convert. We got one. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad that it actually like Mexican that. Mexican and Muslim, that's a good combo. Omar, I've got another <laughs> stupid question. Not for Trump. Which one? Were you married to two women at the same time? How did you know this? Is this true or is this just oh all urban God. legend? So, so no. I see. Uh, yeah. He's been doing his research. Yes. What happened? All right, now, that let's talk about this. And yes. I think we're going to have to do a whole show yeah. on this on this topic. You're, you're coming listen. back. Oh, my. I, li listen. Uh -huh. I'm listening. I know. I'm listening. Vivian, don't lose, don't lose this yeah, now. You're already you're here. Don't okay. losing it. Can, you know, we're losing. I had one. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> no, honey. Listen. Um, the, it's in Islam, or actually, just period. Mm -hmm. um, monogamy is not natural, okay. for, like for everyone. There okay. are one women men, and there are men that's not one 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 men one women men, if okay. you will. So it's, they can't be put inside of a box. Mm -hmm. So it's like you have Abraham had two wives, um, Jacob. Can wives have all two husbands? Them. Well, they naturally women don't really want two husbands. Naturally. This one does. This one, well, yeah. well, this I is the thing. you have to say husbands. about that. <laughs> Na no, I'm just saying, naturally, the women, then you have this alpha male where they get, they attract power, they attract right. wealth, and then they always attract more women, right? right? Mm. There was a study done scientifically where they put, they, 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 they found out that 80% of women, doesn't matter their race or their culture, tend to go for the top 20% of men. Oh. Men don't do, oh. have the same ratio, but by the way, we actually have to invite you back because you're so damn interesting. Oh, finish yeah. this thought really quick, finish this thought really quick, and then we're gonna go out. All right, I'll finish it really quick. So let's just, want, I can end this like this. Uh -huh. like, Who's Tell your us. favorite guy, your favorite? Ryan Gosling, you okay. like this guy. All right, Ryan Gosling, he has a lady, and then he sees you and he says, hey, would you like to come with me? And then you're like, oh, but you have to share. What would you do? Oh, 